Hello guys, KP Shamino here and I'm finally in California and I can show you guys finally the fish that I like the most and that's carp, how you need to catch him. So like always I did some serious testing with almost all the bait. I did like 10 places that I cast. I was hoping that there were more than one place that you can catch the carp really good but that was not a fact. So I thought after the patch that there were more places, but it's just the same. You got one place that they bite really good and a couple of places that they don't bite that good, but you can catch them there too. So, Okay, first of all, I'm going to show you guys where I am at the moment. So if you come to California, I'm at the moment in the fishing, uh, fishing the beaver, sorry. And here is that you catch the carp. A little bit info about the carp is that the carp like to sit in vegetative sediments. That means around uh, reeds, uh, lilies and green stuff in the water. So if you check uh, here, the place you see over there you see reeds, you see here reeds and you see here reeds. I'm going a little bit closer. I test them all. So uh, you got like three good spots, I thought, that you can test. So first of all, I started here. So over this place, I started to fish. Uh, it was not bad. You can catch a carp there, but it's not the best spot. So I tried around this reed here, but it was not really that good in my opinion. I got some carps, but it's not the best place here. You need to remember the depth here that I used was 165 centimeters. On the other place, uh, the depth is a little bit lower. So you can try here. That's my second best spot over here. But it's not the best. So I don't think that people are going to fish here, but I'm just giving you guys the info. You can catch carp there too. The main problem is that if you use uh, night crawls, uh, you're going to catch large mount bass too over there. So that's the main problem. Then I went a little bit more to the right here and I starting to fish over here in the reed. And to be honest, it was not a good place. I didn't catch anything there. It's possible that it's maybe my problem, but yeah, it's not a good spot, this one. And then I go to the best spot, and I think a lot of people that are already here use it too. And that's over here. This reed felt is the best. So you just cast a little bit here to the left, like a couple of uh, inches away from that reed, and that's the best spot. Because the carp like to eat from vegetables, and it falls on the bottom, and there it is. So that's a good spot. Okay, so... Now I'm going to show you guys, like always, all the gear that I tested, all the bait that I tested. Gear I didn't test really good. Uh, you just need to watch it, that, uh, that you don't do it like me. Bring a good reel, because the carp, the normal carp, the common carp is like around 3 kilograms, and the trophy is 8 to 9 kilograms. That's, to give you an impression, that's two times the unique peacock bass. So be sure that you got some good stuff here. Uh, I catched the trophy with my 4.5 kilogram reel and it took me 15 minutes because my drag was on one or two and he was making meters and meters. He was going away the whole time. So just come here that you got your, uh, your reel can catch like eight to nine kilograms and you will be okay. So now I'm going to show you guys uh, my setup. So, I'm using uh, the water bobber, but you can use, uh, I think, any uh, bobber here. I used uh, the sport flow too. So, it, it doesn't matter a lot. You can use it all. The, the important thing here is the bait uh, and, of course, the hook. So, what I did was I started here with hook 1. And the problem with hook 1 was, <coughs> excuse me, I didn't catch a thing with hook 1. I got a lot of dots uh, on my uh, on my bait, but it didn't work. So uh, yeah, it was by the way this hook. So it's the, the 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 big hooks that you need to use for carp. Then I went to two, 
2 works, then I went to 3, 3 works too, then I went to 4 and I had just the same like with hook 1. A lot of small bites, but not a big bite. So 2 and 3 is in my opinion the best hooks to use for carp here. Okay? So I'm using uh, the Nero 450 because I like the Nero 450 a lot. You, you, the good thing about the Nero is even with, 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 if you strike a little bit too soon or, or a little bit too light, to, to late, it works still to catch a fish. I'm using the Prima 3500, but like you can see, it's uh, the max drag is 4.7 kilogram. So I got the trophy from 9 kilograms with this, but of course with uh, the drag on one or two. Because otherwise it breaks my, my uh, reel in two, I think. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys uh, where you need to cast. So, uh, oh, I forgot one, the most important I forgot. I'm fishing on 150 uh, centimeters. Uh, that's around, I think, 60 inches uh, for the guys that don't use the metric. Uh, but I tried on 170, on 140, it works too. Uh, the carp is a bottom feeder. So what you need to do is you need to just be a little bit just above the, the bottom. That's that's the, the main thing. Otherwise, uh, you cannot catch him. It's not that he's on the surface, so and then you're okay. But for me, 150 centimeters works really well. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys where I throw. So like I said, that's the best position. Uh, I thought there were more positions after the patch, but it, it's still the best position. So what I do is... Uh, most of the time I just throw in the shadow here, so uh, very close to the reeds. Okay, like this. I just put my, uh, my drag on 3 and my speed on 4. And uh, yeah, that's it. So you just need to wait now a little bit. Sometimes it takes a little bit time. I got my trophy on that position too. So... Uh, that's that's the main position. Come to here, fish your carp here, and you will be 100% okay. So that's the position, guys. Uh, now I'm going to show you guys uh, the time frame that you need to fish. There isn't really... Uh, it's not, not special. You just need to fish in the best time of the day. So on the graphic... Uh, yeah. Do you see? I already got like a, like a dot. That's a carp already fishing. Uh, fishing what I'm saying now, uh, biting on my uh, bait. So that's the position, but but uh, but I'm not going to catch him because otherwise the movie is taking way too long, and that's not a thing that I want to do. Okay, so that was the position. <coughs> so for the best time, you just uh, to escape and here you can see so the best time i think is always between five to eight and from three o'clock to let's say five six o'clock that's the best time for carp it's just the graphic of the day that you need to follow and you will be okay now the most important thing i'm going to show you guys the bait i tested almost every bait that was suitable for the carp i even tested bait that wasn't suitable for the carp uh, and i'm going to show you guys now uh, what the result is. So, as you can see, uh, I tried uh, the marshmallow man's. Yeah, it's not the man, the marshmallows. Uh, it works. So, I got uh, I got a carp with it. It was early in the morning. Early in the morning or uh, late in the afternoon until the evening works, like I said. Uh, corn works too. Uh, peas, in my opinion, works the best. But night crawlers are very close. So uh, they were very close behind peas. But the main problem is with night crawlers is that you can catch large mount bass. And that's that's yeah the main problem. So I think that, that most people here just use peas uh, to catch a carp. Uh, for the third place, yeah it was a little bit... It was not, I was really surprised that corn didn't work better because corn is known like the the carp uh, 
bait, but it didn't work really well. I got my trophy with corn, but I think it was just lucky. So peas or night crawlers are the best here, in my opinion. So I will show you guys my trophy here. You can see my trophy. I got it on corn. So yeah, now all the stuff that didn't work. Because like I said, I tested everything almost. Bread, don't work. Don't ask me why, because here is carp. And in real life, I, I can feed carp with my hands with bread. But in this game, it doesn't work. Maybe it works, but I tried it for a couple of hours. And I didn't even had one touch on my bait. Uh, Crawfish uh, cut, don't work either. It's in the wiki that it works for carp. Doesn't work. Uh, Dog balls didn't work for me. Uh, I even tried large minnows because in real life I got a carp with uh, a living bait fish. Didn't work. Uh, yeah, and that's it, I think. Yeah, that's all what I tried. I need to check my book. Raw fish, bread, dog balls didn't work. Yeah, that's it, guys. So. Uh, that was it. It's not a complicated fish. Take hook 2 or 3, get bees on it, or night crawlers. Just fish on that position. Uh, fish on the best moments of the day. And you get carp. A very nice fish to fish on, I think. I like the carp a lot. He gives a good fight. The, the trophy took me almost 15 minutes. So that was a long time. I, I got him on 30 meters and he went away to 100, uh, I think 120 meters. And I was a little bit scared because I only got the line for 150 meters. And uh, yeah, it was a good fight. That was it, guys. Happy carp fishing in California. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.